Hi guys, welcome back to Nati Nati's Creations. I am Nati and I hope everyone that's watching is having a great, fabulous day. It is a storming night right now. So if you hear thunder, it's because it's storming outside. I have here today for you um, a late Valentine's swap. It is what is today? March. Let me see. Today's March 4th, guys. I don't know when this video is going to go out, but I'm finally done. Me and my friend, we decided that we were going to do a swap together because it seems like Valentine's came so fast and then it was gone. And so I was talking to one of my friends and she's like, oh, I want to do a Valentine's swap. And I'm like, yeah, me too. And then I'm like, oh, maybe do you want to do one with me? Because, she, you know, she was trying not to do too many. She was just doing like one at a time and pace herself. She didn't, you know, because sometimes swaps get stressful, right? Especially if you're in a lot of them because you have that deadline to do. And I go, yeah, we could. This was in the beginning of February. I was like, well, we could uh, start it and then finish it. And we could, I don't know, middle of March, maybe just because we're so busy and I still like I don't know whenever you guys watch this I am still waiting on the t-shirts I'm now thinking maybe it was fraudulent maybe I don't know I'm giving them a, until Wednesday um so that's today's the fourth fifth sixth to the sixth and if I don't get anything I'm just sending out the swaps and if you guys are watching this it's you guys might already get your swaps already and this is going to be old but I do apologize I don't, I'm sorry yeah I'm gonna to have to try to probably get my money back guys anywho so what was required of this was um a 3d project so we both agreed on this bag and another 3d project so we had two 3d projects and um uh what do you call it? Oh, an embellishment book, a, a dango, a wand, a shake, um, shakers, sequin mix, flowers, mini envelopes, bows, and rosettes. So those were all the requirements. It was a lot. And you see why we just decided not to have any stress and we just work and do it. Okay, so let's get into it. So we had to do this tote bag, which is an SVG file from SVG Cuts. All right, I'm going to zoom out a little. So it's a pretty big bag, and I love it. Um, I should have enforced the this a little. I had to enforce it here because for some reason it bent. And yeah, I didn't want it to break, so I tightened it up there. Um... So it's for my friend Amanda, Amanda101. I will post her uh, channel link down below. I added this glitter paper from Hobby Lobby. This is Hard Eyes collection. And I put here a fake pocket. It's a fake pocket. I have these pocket dies. And I put um tool behind it. And I have this little thing with glossy. It's filled with glossy accent this specialty paper I don't know if you could see it and then I got these um acrylic pieces from from here I have it right here yep and what I did was I put pink glossy not glossy um speckles on top of it to make it look glittery I put some tool behind here behind the flowers I added um, some speckles on the flowers. See, and then I put these cute little glasses I got from Hobby Lobby. I mean, not Hobby Lobby. Oh, where did I get these? From? I think Walmart. And then here are my flowers. I don't I forgot what dye that is. Um, I sprayed some, you know, that spray on it. I added some pearls, some colored pearls flowers speckles I added like the dust on there diamond dust um Eve I talked to Eve and she suggested I add this 
add a butterfly. So I added a butterfly here. I was going to do it here, but I decided to leave that as is. I bought these on Amazon a whole bunch. And then I got a Hobby Lobby keychain. And I just took the puff off because I added a heart. And I put the A for Amanda. And I put it there. And I just remembered I I didn't do, um, what do you call it? For my dango, you know, I usually package it up. So I'm going to have to package it up after this. So um, we'll do the embellishment book glass. Um, here is the wand I made. I love the colors of it. Um, I have, so I do have the hard eyes digital and I had uh, the paper collection, the paper pad, but I decided to do... Um, both sides this color and so I, I backed it up so that took a little bit and then I added a, a heart doll doily sorry excuse me this trim I added this little flower there a little bow and now um there's a a doll in there um so it's sturdy um, I got I forget where I got these rosettes but um these are from Ebbs these uh, are Ebbs rosettes. Uh, so Scrap Diva has these dies that uh, cut. And I, well, now I have it. But at the time when I did this, I didn't have it. And plus, this is a really small heart. So I have scissors. Let me see. I have scissors to cut them. Oh, where are they? Yeah, and I did it myself. I just did it myself with my scissors. So... And then I added this tool. This is like a stamp die. And yeah, so that is that is the wand. All right. And then I added also this just in the bag. Um, my sequin mix. I didn't put it in the book just because the book. So you'll see the book. Uh, the book I made it it was this was it wasn't gonna fit so th this is from Scrap Diva and I forgot what it is but basically it tears so I didn't close it I just have it in there so she could reuse it um but here's the sequin mix that I made I love I love how it looks so yeah so I just added that just so that it's packaged and then i have these these are i think from dollar tree on the clothespin and then i added uh nouvelle drops you know speckles whatever and i let it dry and then i put this beautiful little flower on it so hopefully it stays on and hopefully i could get this to close and so yeah so I, that's a sequin mix. And then let's get into the embellishment book. Oh, wait. We'll finish looking at the, at the purse. So there's the purse. And then on the sides, I have this. And I did a different color. instead of the dark pink. And then the back. And then I put my little... And there it goes. So. And then that's the inside. And then we could get into this stuff later. So, um, Tamika, she hosted a Trapper Keeper. And I forgot why I couldn't enter the, the swap. I, I had, I think, three, a few projects. And I could only do, like, one or maybe two. Like, a big project and maybe a little project. Because, you know, I'm just so busy. And then stuff always comes up. Like, I'm doing this. And I had Eve's birthday. And I had to do that. I have another birthday coming up. And then I have uh, Tamika's challenge to do that I started kind of working on and trying to get ideas. So Tamika, I went, so I, this was on my to-do list on my one and I guess my craft bucket list. Um, and I did it. I was like, I'm going to do this as an embellishment book. Now, <laughs> so I did it, but I didn't um, put this down yet. Anyway. It's there's a lot, guys. So I did this book, and I kind of like I I did the whole book, and I forgot I wanted to do a sequin mix cover, 
right here and I was like oh my goodness so I just cut another piece of paper and the sequins and I used what did I use what is this the it's not acetate but I used the uh, page protectors right a thick one I have really good thick ones um from my I had a lot of binders with pictures and stuff. Okay, I used to scrapbook, um, but I wasn't really good at it. I just, yeah, this was before YouTube, before the internet when I was younger. So I had some really good thick acetate and my beads, I they had some of this, which I don't know, guys, like you see, it's kind of like warped right there because of the beads. So next time I know not to add these beads and just to make it shaker and not to add big bucky things I didn't sew these down I didn't think of it and and it was already done and then yes and then I got this you're the best crafty friend from a scrap diva die it's a file folder holder die something like that and um yeah so here is and I, the tutorial is on, um, I could post it. I'll try to post it down below. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot. I have to add my thing. So here is my Trapper Keeper. And then I have the pink, pink uh, Velcro. And I'll try to zoom in here so you guys can see it really good. Okay, so I at first did... Um, the discs okay guys i'll try to post the picture of it before before this and i didn't like it how it was all flimsy and then um cruz made a trapper keeper for angelina and she used the rings and i didn't like how all the pages like fall they like fall down um out of the book kind of and i was like oh i didn't want to do that and so since I did the disc, because I thought the disc would be better and I didn't like how it was all flimsy, I was like, I want to keep the Trapper Keeper. I want to do the Trapper Keeper. And so I was like, how am I going to fix it? So I decided to get um, rings. So the, they were really easy to put in. All I did was uh, stab a hole in it, uh, like measure it, stab the hole through it. And then these are screw-ons, so it screws right in. So it was really good, and I covered my mistake. I glued it down and covered it. You can't even tell. It's so clean. And then I decided to leave this blank um, just because the book was getting really bulky because I did all this before I did my embellishments, which I already know. I don't know why I didn't think about it to do my embellishment first, because sometimes I make chunky embellishments and I need a thicker spine. So, uh, so that was that. And then I just saw, I know, um, Eve and Louisa, Louisa and uh, Eileen are doing a binder keeper thing. And they did a bigger book. And I was like, oh, but I had already this. This was already all done. It was already done. So because I, uh, I laminated my sheets and I cut the discs I had this all done and I didn't like how it was so I was like how to fix it so I, like I said I did this and then I decided to add paper and sew it um, to hide my mistakes and then do the host so that's how I fixed my big mistake so I just left this blank but here are the envelopes I did, wasn't sure how she wanted the envelope I know she's we were supposed to decorate them so I did this one could fold. So if she wants to close it, she could close it and it's just decorated here. This one, it is not, this is just to use an embellishment like that. And I added this little paper and it says XOXO on it with the bow and these little flowers I got from Jackie. And then there was this big empty space here. So I added an ephemera piece with a glue dot and um, added sequence not sequence you guys um speckles to it and then on this so she could close it you see it has a uh, little heart there so she could close it and it's double-sided um i made these little 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 baby flowers they're so little and they were so hard to do too and then i added these tickets and i didn't want to just add the ticket so i added these little sayings with it with the little hearts and then i added some blank ones in the back there and then i have it 
holding with her clothes bits. This one, um, these are for her to embellishment, embellish or do herself. And I decided to cut these out and out of my Cricut. Print them, cut them out, and she could use them for whatever. So I just put those there and I left them blank because, like I said, I was running out of space here. You see the sequin mix didn't even fit in there. I do not like making flowers, guys. And we had to make flowers. And of course, I can't make flowers like these. I don't even know where they came from, but they for, were from that haul, Jackie's haul that I did. Sorry, it's because of the glare. And I don't want you guys to, be, you know, see the glare. So I added a whole bunch of, of, for, of the colors that I received and I gave them, gave her some. I shared some of her. So I didn't do those. I love how these came out. So the next one was bows, okay? I didn't do this bow. This was from Jackie from our first swap together last Valentine's. And I still had them. I was hoarding them. And I gave her one. And I don't know if Jackie's. I know she didn't have a sewing machine. And she did hand stitching. So I don't know if she hand stitched. I don't think she ever answered me when I asked her. Um, I think in the video. Sorry, I just kicked the camera. Um, I did the, I did this, I did this. You like my talking? <laughs> I did this and I added a jemmy and these little flowers. I think they're from um, Michael's. And I did this with the little flower. This is from Jackie and I just added uh, a jemmy and then the little butterfly on top of it. And then here's the ones I did. This, uh, this is a scrap diva dye. And these are just a little dye I had like they make the little bowls like this and I was gonna do them all but it's there's no space so those are the bowls and I stitched all all the all the um yeah right here look guys here's my shaker um and I did a little I had it this little gummy bear the little flowers the embellishments from the collection oh this little these little things from Hobby Lobby. I don't know what they're called. Uh, do I have some over here? I know they're by the yarn. And I don't know what they're called, but you might have seen these. See? I don't know what they're used for. I saw them and I, I was like, oh, these colors go with the collection. They would be good to like put behind um my embellishments so that's what I did and then I had this big blank space so I added and embellish um some of the ephemera pieces from the collection and I spark spark sparkled it up glittered it up let's see and I added on um, foam tape and I foamed it up there and here's a little shaker. I added these little jemmies on the corners. And then here is my other shaker. I love how this came out. This is actually, this is a KS, KS craft die. And then this is a scrap diva, the heart, loaded heart die. And I love how that came out. And then my little acrylic piece. I did it again there, my little ticket. And is there, oh, it says, uh, I think, uh, this is actually written at a uh, one or something. I don't know. But anyway, I covered it up and then I have some of that stuff I just showed you there. And I left it blank because I like the, I like this part. I actually, this was supposed to be the first page, but because I thought I switched my, the stitch and I started stitching and it was all wonky. And I was like, no. And I thought I had changed it to the straight line. But it, yeah. So I just put it on the last page, guys. And then, um, and then here I added this little clear pocket from Target. And this is, this is from Louisa, um, her digital. I couldn't find a pocket big enough for this. So I just did, did a little pocket. I wanted to do a big pocket like this in the front I didn't want to cover the image and I wanted it clear and I didn't want you to see the glue so I just did that and I'm not I'm gonna leave the front blank but these are Louisa's digital 
Um, I believe on some of them you could write your own things. On it is really nice. So I just picked the colors that would match the collection. And it's fun if you're into, um, what is it? Uh, journaling. Junk journaling. Any journaling. Even for uh, ephemera pieces, I think, I think you could resize these. I'm not quite sure. Um, you could also ask Louisa because she would know if these could be resized. Resized, I think so. But I, I don't remember. I just printed them and cut them out for, for Amanda to use. I know she's uh, doing like Happy Planner. Well, planning her planner. So I don't know if she could use any of those. So yeah, so this is my embellishment book. I love how it came out. This was so fun to make and I loved this. It was just, see, the pages don't come out and it's really chunky. Sorry, it's really chunky. <laughs> Next time I know to make a bigger, a bigger one. All right, and so I, here's my dangle, which I still have to do you know, put it in a little container. I was trying to do it like cruise the dangle queen. And you know what? I'm just going to just stop. I'm going to get, I'll get there when I get there. If I get there, I'm just going to do it the way I, I do my dangles, but I, she does inspire me to do better. So I do these long ones. Look at this really long one. And then, um, I added little charms at the end. Now this was from Hobby Lobby. They came with the little lobster claps, but the one I got, um, the last la lobster claps were like glued shut or something. I couldn't, I couldn't open them, so I had to, uh, I had to take them off and just use it as use the charm. See, this one did. This was the only one that came off. You see, that's how they were on the lobster class, and then you put them on there. But anyway, so. I added the charms at the end. These are from, so a lot of these beads are from Happy Crafter Shop, Ebbs, um, Marla, I think, and uh, just so many of the small business ladies. And I just added them all. So here, I love all the beads. And then I wire wrap them all and I did little things like usually I wouldn't do that, you know, and then I, I did this. So then I wrote Amanda. Um, so Cruz definitely inspired me. You know, I have her dangles here, so I look to try uh, to do better on my dangles. <laughs> so that's this chunky dangle, not as chunky as hers but chunky. And then I did one of these. Um, what are these called? Ugh, I can't think of what they're called, but you know, a tassel, a tassel dangle. So yeah, I got to uh, package these up really nice, really, really nice. So that, yeah, they in the package. And then the other 3d object was this little chocolate bomb cake which I love how it came out. Now, Amanda, this is her favorite color. She likes um, she likes that Tiffany blue, right? Um, So this is the closest I could get to Tiffany blue. And then I decided to do like uh, the black and white. So it's like uh, uh, cookies and cream. And so, yeah, so it's a little box, which I forgot I have to put my name on. And then this little rose, I added blue, um, yeah, I can't. Now I'm like going blank, guys. Um, distress. I distressed it with blue ink. Yeah, because the pink you couldn't really tell and it made it kind of look dirty. And I just like how the blue made it look. And then you open this. And here are my chunky rosettes. My chunky rosettes. So I did these actually and i have a hole puncher that i use i use this hole puncher and i use to make it look like they're die cut 
I use this as a, uh, instead of a scoring, scoring tool. Sometimes my words like slur, sorry guys. So it makes it look, see, it makes it look like it's a die cut. So I like how it, and then I did a uh, gold thread. I added those little flowers from Michael's and then I added speckles, speckles, and then the little kiss. Another kiss gave me a kiss, a sticker, and I made this uh, like a banner with the chocolate. And then I forgot I got these little rosettes from, I can't even remember, it was in my stash. Um, so yeah, and then this is the other rosette. And I added tool in this um, trim, the, the crepe paper with tool trim that I got. Um, I think uh, from M's from Jersey Girl, I think is her name, Emily. And then I added, uh, these are the digital. I print it and then I cut like a banner and then I added this jemmy and then I added speckles, this little bow from Jackie from our first swap together. So there you go. So I put the rosettes in there because they didn't fit in. So it worked out. They didn't fit in there. I was gonna put the rosettes and the flowers in here but the flowers were able to fit in there. Let me put this back over here. And then um, I think that's all the requirements. I got these box from Walmart and I added uh, Hobby Lobby socks and handed the little envelope in there. And I love, I don't know where I got, I think I got this from Dollar Tree last year, these little bags and then match this collection better so that's why I use that one and then this is from Dollar Tree and I added the trim from M's Emily that I got and then the sticker from Hobby Lobby envelopes I think from Hobby Lobby and this is now gifts weren't required but I got her she's a busy busy lady always working and she's just always working so she hasn't really she's been MIA for a little bit so I know she's missed the Happy Crafter sales. So I got these from Happy Crafter Visa, Happy Crafter Shop, and then these so she could use. And then I also got her um, these acrylic pieces from Inner Creativity Shop. So I so she could use them whenever she does. Craft. She's going to take it easy. I'm going to put that back. So that goes there. And then, <laughs> let me see. I think this is the last. I made a little tag flip. So the collection comes with these little tags, which are so cute. But they're so, like, it's just a tag. And it's printed. And I don't want to hide the words or anything. So I was like, how can I make this very dimensional and, like, um, not just an ordinary just tag, right? So I added this, all this um, trim here and then the ring. And then I added a little dangle to it, this little mini dangle to go with it. And then, so I have the digital copy. And what I did was I had it printed out, all the tags are ready. And I cut them out. I cut the image out, the pancake image. And I'm like, I'm going to layer it. And then I put um, speckles on it. And then I have a black glitter pen. And so I just traced the words so it's glittery. And it's all glittery. And I added some trim at the bottom. And I added stickers and a bow. So strawberry. I like to eat strawberries with my pancakes and whipped cream. No syrup. Just strawberries, whipped cream. And it's good. So I just added that. See, this is the text from the digit from the actual cop. Oh my gosh, the original collection. And then this, this pop-up piece, you see it's popped up, is the from the digital copy I printed. So uh, no one stacks up to you. <laughs> and then I think you are a uh, succulent. <laughs> so I added, you see, I added the blue um 
speckles. Oh my goodness, I can't remember. The little blue heart and then the little gold, I mean, black pen and then the little trim. And then I like how this one came out. It's a little birdie. Look at it. It's so cute. It's so delicate. I love how this came out. And then I added this little banner because, you know, it's like wire, right? Um, a little string. And the birds are always on the string. Bird on the wire. So I added that. And then a little cute little dinosaur with his little bow. You're my favorite Phenosaurus. XO, XO, and the little heart. I mean, a little butterfly. Um, acrylic piece. I think it's for nails. And then this little watermelon. At first, I was going to do all the, the watermelon in red with speckles, but then I was like, that's too much. So I did just a trim of it and the little black seeds. And then a kiss. Well, it's a mouth because he's going to eat the watermelon. And then the heart was already on there. What's this? And, um, oh, it's strings. Sorry, guys. And then I added speckle to the heart and this little balloon. Because usually, you know, you're at a barbecue with uh, balloons. Oh my goodness. Sorry I'm doing this on camera, guys. But I didn't even know. I didn't even notice it. It's the light because it's so bright in here. And the last is your your totally awesome, totally awesome. Aww. And then this little blue bow from Jackie, this trim. And then I added speckles to the little turtle. And I fussy cut all the little images and I propped them up on some foam on the original image there. So I think this is the last of it. I have to do this so then um I'll show you oh and then I do have some, oh, I forgot the card I made her card guys sorry I saw this at Walmart and they're vinyl uh, decal stickers so I'm giving her those too because she likes Lilo and Stitch but here's the card guys so I left it blank for her to reuse that's my little note and my hot pink oh, um, post-it note, which I might have to get more. It's a big one of the big ones, like this. And I love it because it's hot pink. And here is her card. Her little card. It's a little mailbox. Little, little mailbox. And she can write her message there. Um, but yeah, so I added this. I added... um. Jimmy's around and I added uh, lips and a little heart, hearts in there, my little envelopes with, and then hearts on the, uh, hearts on the hearts, and yeah. Oh, and this was, um, I forget where I got these, it's a sticker and it says thanks, and there's a little banner that says thanks, so I hit it with the little heart, so the heart looks like it's on the banner. Isn't it cute, guys? So that is her card. And I left it blank for her to use, to reuse as she pleases. And there's no room. So uh, I'll be back with, um, yeah, with the dangles and all packaged up. And then I'm going to, uh, we're going to package it together. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, um, I decided to put the big dangle. I hope punched the book and put a dangle. Now it's jam packed. I don't have the a box. I mean, the box that I have is a large smelling box. So the the handles might get bent, but that's what I have. So the other dangle, I ended up putting it on a tag. And putting this little wire loop through it. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Okay, now we're going to wrap this up. This, I am going to put in this, but I already have shred in it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's try to do this first. I'm going to try not to bump the camera, but excuse my mess. Okay, it, this is the cleanest my desk has been in a minute because, yeah. So, I... Oh, can't have those up. So I'm going to have to 
try to like bend these because okay i'm going to try to get the box up here and put my table down a little more so i still have jackie's box from the from our first valentine my first my first valentine's partner mega swap because this is like when i first got into swapping okay so she had it all decorated inside already and so my bag that i had for the purse was not big enough so i bought oops sorry guys you see so i bought this big bag it's um i don't know if these guys hear the rain but it's pouring um this is the the basket to make um the easter baskets i saw some clear bags at walmart so i bought them and then uh the heart tissue is that wrapping clear wrapping paper from hobby lobby sorry i bumped the camera again sorry 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 um yeah uh, it i was gonna put my purse in there but it didn't fit so we're going to sorry for the noise guys i'm gonna try it. oh my goodness guys no 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 all right we're gonna have to figure Sorry for the mess. Sorry for the mess. Okay. So this is what I did at first. I'm just going to put that. And I can't hold it by the handles because it's not. So this is how we're going to do it. it. This is going to be hard. And I'm going to do this. And wrap, put it down. All right. See, it wasn't big enough to wrap all the way around. So, and I want to make sure that it's protected because you hear it's raining. And so I'm going to put it in this bag. It was, whoa. It was really big. And I shortened it. So you see? In. Oh no, not yet. My bad. I'm not going to try it because I want to add some of the shred that I made in the beginning of my swap and add some of my super mix that I made. Oh my goodness. So, this is not even nice, guys. It's just like all messy. It's just wow. It's just this this bag. I wasn't I wanted to do a big bag to put my binder in. Now she's doing the same bag. We both agreed on it, which we didn't think of getting it and sending it off. So, okay, that is, wow. um, give me a second guys. Okay, guys, so I uh, wrapped it. I got it closed and put this big yarn on it. Okay, now to switch. So here's the box. Here's all the yummy. I was thinking about putting this in there. I don't know. I don't know. Oops. I don't even, hopefully, how this fits. I did try it, but I tried it. This is going to help it, so protect it. Oh, there it goes. Uh, hopefully, it makes it. Okay. So I have a whole bunch of shred. Look at all this shred. 
shred and then we're gonna put these in there this calico spreader in there I don't know how I'm gonna fit Oh my goodness, guys. There you go. And then, alright, so I'm gonna, I'm half shred everywhere. I'm gonna have to put this in this bag. I'm gonna put the shred on it. Like, thought because see the struggle is real like some people I don't understand I I'm gonna have to oh sorry I just the camera I don't know guys I'm just gonna have to put it like that and then put some more shred I love the Shrek guys. I hope Amanda doesn't get mad. I don't know guys, tell me. These guys like all the shred and all the sequins. So I'm gonna add some more sequins to the bog. She's gonna have a lot of yummies. Oh my gosh, I'm making a hot mess everywhere everywhere All right. so it's kind of backwards because usually this would go in the bottom oh, I guess I should flip it alright guys I'm going to flip it because I don't like it I don't like it oh look at this this isn't that hard alright there you go and I did end up putting my info on it and there you go all right and i got this don't want to put the tape in there Oh my goodness, I guess he prints. Okay, it looks like. <laughs> Look at how yummy that looks. I love this paper she used. I don't know what paper it is, but I love it. And I've had it, it tells you I'm a big hoarder. I've had it forever. I don't remember. Okay, I think. Oh my goodness. Maybe I need to put this upside down anyway. There you go. I think that's going to do better. Oh, there you go, guys. All right. Well, hopefully it gets there safely. Look at that, guys. Oh, look at that. All right. Well, thank you, guys. I hope I didn't forget anything. I was all over the place, but I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm sorry, guys. But thank you for coming. Thank you for um, watching. I hope she, I hope she likes it, guys. I don't know. Anyways, uh, do I will have everything linked down below. Um, I will have the tutorial for the Trapper Keeper and her channel, Amanda's channel. I think it's Amanda One Hundred One. And I don't know if I did forget anything, guys. Just comment down below let me know and i will let you know whatever you need to know all right guys thank you for coming thank you for your time and i'll see you at the next god bless bye